you guys already know it's Demon Slayer Sunday, and I had to rock the boy today because I know he's about to go ham. Wara Bihime, Daki, whatever you want to go by, Tengen, and my boy are about to go crazy. Let's do this. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 5 or Episode 12, depending on how you want to view it. Let me write Episode 12 down. This one's called Things Are Gonna Get Real Flashy, which I'm sure with you guys as well as myself are very excited because we know who's trying to be flashy and flamboyant out here, aka Mr. Tengen. You guys probably can't see him, but I got him right here. I got Tengen and I got Tanjiro, and I think I have Inosuke and Giyu, so I got all the Demon Slayers up there right next to Inosuke's sword, so I'm very hyped, very excited. We, la we left off last episode with Tanjiro mid-fight against Daki saying, can I do this? No, wait, I have to do this. And then also trying to protect um, Koinatsu, the Oiran of the other house, of Tanjiro's house, so I'm very curious how this is gonna go. Very excited. Shit is starting to hit the fan. The climax is starting to happen. I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. Let's do this. Don't forget if you guys wanted the full length version of this episode or early access and full length to all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description down below for you guys. Don't forget to check that out. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Let's hop into this. Demon Slayer, Season 2, Episode 5, or Episode 12, things are going to get real flashy. Let's do this. I, for I forgot the names of- Oh, that's one of the th wives! That's the third wife! Things are going to get real flashy. Also, you guys commented that the belt that Daki uses to tie people up, eat them, all that, it's called an obi. It's like a traditional Japanese sash used in garments and stuff like this. Oh, she gay. She can, like, tear it off and give personal belts and the obi. It's just crazy. <laughs> I hope... Tangan and the boys are able to take care of this with no casualties. Thanks to the reverberations. Okay, sound Hashira. Sound breathing first form. I've been waiting for this roar. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. He's starting to have a little self-doubt. Don't say that, because ultimately you can be even... Mm-hmm. I was about to congratulate him on being able to use it on command, but is there some super negative drawback? That... What's going on? Is it? <laughs> okay, I hope so. <laughs> okay, this is the confidence I like to hear. Ablaze, ablaze, ablaze. Set your heart ablaze. Look at this boy, look at this boy, come on. Raging Sun, I love the name of the title. Okay, he's gonna go with the side second one. And... Fake rainbow? What? What? I'm not gonna lie, like mechanically, like in terms of his basic speed, strength, and all that, he's still severely lacking when it comes to these uppers. Oh, I feel so bad. It's like using the inner gates. But in terms of his gameplay strategy, in terms of his fight, like, he's he's thinking outside the box, and I appreciate that. Ooh, slick. I have faith. 
I, I, I love my boy. I just don't think he'll be able to keep up. Yes. Yes. But I truly don't believe Daki is even unleashing half her full strength, you know? Oh, every... Oh, yes. Everybody who's lost someone important to them. I got goosebumps, guys. I got goosies. Somewhat earlier, back at the Ogimoto house. Now, Tengen was also saying something there's underground, but Daki turns into her Obi or her Sash and then uses that network of tunnels as her, you know, traveling system. No, like, that's a really dope ability to have in terms of flexibleness and but i have claustrophobia to the point where that would kill me oh that's everyone she's eaten there's what's her name another one of the wives there's another one of the wives look at all the are those skeletons on the ground as well yeah i can probably keep them in some sort of hibernate hyper comatose state you know and then pull them out whenever and just eat them whenever Oh, Zenko, speak of the devil. Is she here and fighting with Tanjiro, or how is she here too? Oh, no, this is somewhat earlier. This isn't actively while he's fighting Tanjiro. This is a little bit earlier, but holy shit. Go Inosuke. He's having time of his life. Oh, they're coming out too. Oh wait, are the belt and her separate entities? Except for the 10 most beautiful. It's not stiffening up, it's being fluid with the attack. Ooh, ooh, good kick. Good recovery, Nosuke, holy shit. Yes, Kunai, we know who's here. Oh, Makio and the other wife. Let's go. I'm assuming that's Makio and Suma, because the last one he just saw was Hinatsuru. Let's go, and they're fucking hot. Let's go. So Daki and the Obi or the belt are... So beautiful when he comes down. Elegant. Gorgeous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shouts out to the muscle mice. Came from above. Oh, this is finally what I've been waiting for. Not only do we have Zenitsu Inosuke, we have two of the wives and Tengen versus Daki. Let's... The music when this man's coming in, Destroyer of Demons, Mr. Flashy himself, come on! <laughs> like it was nothing in an instant. Living in the old shinobi life. Yup. Look at a young Tengen. Look how fucking badass he looks. Tangan is a good man when it comes to his morals, his beliefs, and his taste in kunoichi, we shall say. Chose some fine women you did there, Tangan. Ooh, ooh, I didn't know he'd use it like a nunchuck as well. I just thought they happened to be connected. Oh, please, please, don't end the episode, don't... Well, 
we are starting to get there. Shit is starting to hit the fan. I'm very excited. We have some more cards in play now. We got some more players in the game. Tengen and his sound breathing. Super dope. I'm really enjoying the flashbacks that we're getting with him and Tanjiro as well, though, in terms of Tanjiro's training. How I I get what he's saying in terms of how he feels like he can utilize his maximum potential while using uh, Hinokami Kagura, you know, the sun breathing. But I don't know if I agree with him saying he feels like he's incompatible with water breathing. Like, maybe there is some sort of compatibility thing in terms of your lineage of blood, beliefs, ancestry, and, and what you were taught. Obviously, the Rengoku family is known synonymous with fire and flames. And Urukadaki did teach Giyu water as well. And, and maybe it is like that. Maybe Giyu and Urukadaki are like the top of the line water Hashira. And maybe if Tanjiro wanted to become a Hashira, maybe he'll never be as good as a water Hashira as they were. But could he become his own Hinokami Kagura or his, his like a flame breathing hot? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I understand where he's coming from in terms of that, trying to reach his maximum potential. But I don't know if he should be cutting out water breathing all yet. Because like, I love his water breathing and seeing Giyu come out in the first season with the 11th form out of nowhere. We were like 11, you know, like, ah, I want to see more. I want to see all the breathings. I want to see it. Oh my God. I want to see. I want to go so in depth with this. We finally got to see another beast breathing and we got to see a sound breathing. He said sound breathing first technique roar. And we also got to see a thunder breathing as well. First form thunder clap and flash like always from Zenitsu. Uh, amazing. It was great seeing all three of the wives. Honestly, Suma, Makio and Hinatsuru. But all of them seem super dope um all of them very very attractive shall i say there's very attractive women in this in this season in this arc right here shouts out to demon slayer men of culture i will say but very interesting cannot wait to see things get flashy i love uh, tengen's morality when it comes to keep your lives you know above the like you know which in terms of naruto in terms of other shinobi references that i can make that's i say that because that's all i really know but your mission becomes way more of a number one priority over your life like they were completely okay if you die and you complete the mission versus if you stay alive and don't complete the mission they hate you so very like he said going against his ways by saying that but as long as tengen's okay with it you know like it's not a bad way of living i respect it i appreciate it so shouts out to this episode, fantastic. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell. If you guys heard that, that was another video rendering. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.